Hi, I'm Phyllis from My Soul, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm making the number four block for my sampler quilt. And uh, I find a picture of a block I like, and then I experiment trying to figure out the sizes and everything. So this one, the pieces I need for this one, I need four units with a dark and a light that is two and a half by four and a half. So this, this is two and a half by four, four and a half, and this one's two and a half. And I need four of each of them. And they fit around the block like this. Now I need four of this unit, which is a square within a square. You can see a square within a square. And I need four of those units. And I need a four and a half inch square block for the center. So what, how I do this is I get my two and a half inch square block and I need four of them. And I cut For my triangles, I cut a, a two and seven eighths inch block or square and cut that diagonally across. This is my square and I've cut it across the center. And then I put, I find my center point in my square and I line it, the point up to the center and then sew across here. And fold that back and take my next square and line it up with the center point of my two and a half inch square and sew along here. And that will give me piece that looks something like that on its own. And then I take, I've got my third one is sewn along here, but it's also in the center point. Mark, lined up, should be lined up for the center point and fold it back. Also down here and that will give me my now I will have some dog ears and I can trim this one down I'm just trying to think what size is this four and a half I think Three and a half. Yeah. yeah. These should trim them to three and a half inches. So then I have my, and I line my point of this right to the center point between the dark and the light. Or try to. <laughs> and this one goes here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me and then I do the same thing with this one I get the now this will be number four but I also made this one up it's the same block I reversed the colors here. So I'm not sure which will go in the quilt, whether it'll be this one or this one. It'll just depends on how it works out. And this will finish 12 inches. Now I want to show you my the blocks I have made. This is my number one block. Number two, and number three, and you'll see number four. And I will be back with number five. How I will put them in the, on the quilt, I will have a sashing that will set them off, hopefully. Yeah, I know you won't be able to see them all, but. So that's the four I've made already. And I haven't decided what color of sashi <clears throat> will look good until I get them all made. Usually a dark sashi sets them off better. But we'll see. So thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe so you don't miss any of my <clears throat> any of my uh, blocks. And you might find one that you'd really like to make a whole quilt out of. Because, you know, if you had one like this, it would be quite a nice quilt. You'd have this line going right through it. And this line going this way. That would make quite a nice quilt too. So just, you know, pick your colors and follow them along. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <clears throat> Bye now.